The search for extraterrestrial life begins with liquid water, a fundamental necessity of life on Earth. Mars has been a freeze-dried desert for billions of years, but the surface is scarred with ancient river channels, shorelines, and deltas. From orbit, though, it's hard to tell whether a wet Mars could have supported life. How much water was there? What was its chemistry? Suppose you were a microbe, would you have liked that place or not? If so, why? The rovers are designed to read clues to the ancient environment preserved in the rocks and minerals. Each has a toolkit on its robotic arm to grind off the weathered surface of rocks and analyze their composition. They see the world in three dimensions with four pairs of stereo cameras. There's a high-resolution pan cam for color panoramas, collected and stitched together from individual frames. Color filters reveal details invisible to human eyes. And an infrared spectrometer scans for minerals that may have formed in the presence of water. They have wide-angled black and white stereo vision for navigation and planning. And below the deck, fisheye cameras see the world at ground level, looking backward and forward. Opportunity went right to work and immediately made a series of startling discoveries. First, tiny spheres littering the ground and embedded in the outcrop, like blueberries in a muffin. They turned out to be an iron mineral called hematite. On Earth, it forms spheres like these in water-soaked rocks, like pearls and oysters. Then she detected sulfur-rich minerals that can only form in a wet environment. And finally, petrified ripples created by flowing water, frozen in time as sand turned to stone. It all pointed to a time billions of years ago when salty, acidic water soaked the ground and sometimes flowed across the surface. On Earth, microbes love places like this. It was a new Mars. We were giddy, we were incredulous, we were sleep deprived beyond words. It was so tiring, but we were just running on adrenaline, you know? And it was just so much fun. It was the most fun I've ever had as a scientist. It was just fabulous. In just three months, Opportunity accomplished everything the scientists had hoped for and set off to another crater nearby.